Caution lights go dark, 25 laps the distance. Ladies and gentlemen, with the National Open Wheel 600 Series, it's showtime. Out comes the green, and immediately dropping to the deck is going to be the 11K of Sean Mahaffey. Giving chase, going to be Dason personally. Up in the second already, J.J. Loss going to get shuffled back to third. Matt Carr going to run in fourth, and Kale Drake. Running at your top five, he'll have Bolin in pursuit behind them. The eight to the outside is Kai Kingall, Vinny Van Potter, Lee giving chase, Ryan Winter, and Trevor McIntyre, your top ten. Working lap number three, the happy. Doing the happy things around the bottom of the racetrack. 1.099 seconds already over the 71K of Jason Pursley. Oh, Pursley. Trying a 600cc pogo stick over in turns three and four. Gets the car back underneath him. Able to make his way by the 20. Now going to work on the 3T of Trevor McIntyre. McIntyre running 13. Mahaffey able to make his way by. Still 1.5, 1.6 seconds between your top two drivers as we've got a pair of them, it looks like, collected on the outside of turn number one. Nope, just one. As meanwhile, two to go. Lap traffic blocking the charge of the 71, the 11 with clean racetrack on the bottom. Going to work around this time to the wave of the white flag and one to go. Personally, having to contend with slower cars. Goes to the outside of the speedway through turns one and two. Run to the back straightway. Can he make anything happen off of the final turn? Down to the front straightway, and Mahaffey's going to hold on to it. Sean Mahaffey picks up his second win of the night. Jason Persley has to settle for second. J.J. Lawson third. Kale Drake in fourth. And Matt Carr, unofficially your top five. Cover Ended up starting 14th. He's already cracked the top 10 as we are back underway. Two in the books. 25 the distance. A little bit of a muscle move to the inside. Here comes Bradley Cox with the race lead. Leaves the outside open. Stone Smith going to try to get the run. Here comes the five. Run not quite enough in three and four. Rolls it back up to the cushion in one and two. Has the speed to the back straight. We're going to take over that second spot. Enters low. Cheats it up. Grabs the cushion. Gets the car biked up just a little bit. Hands second. Back to the 31 BW through three and four. On to the back straightway once more. The two drivers equally challenged. They will split ranks into three and four once again. Smith not giving up on the outside. Your top two drivers right now. Problems for McDougal. He is down in the infield. Oh, Bradley Cox. Caught one of the slower cars in the 45. Gets disposed to the infield. He is cleared for the track, but the caution lights are going to come on. 16 laps remaining. Oh, Garen Howard. Him and Tyler Crow making contact through turns at one and two. Crow going to take it down into the infield. Clear for the racetrack, and we're going to continue on. And the right rear of that GH7 going up and grabbing the two there. As just about up into the wall goes Stone Smith again. Top of three and four, kind of abusing him. He's going to lose another spot. The three of late three is going to make his way by to move up into the top five. But Braxton Weger now trying to make smooth laps. He works the bottom side of the Port City Raceway. And problems for the three. Leith Briggs running in six. He has taken it down into the infield. Unfortunately, his night coming to a close. If Bolden wants it, he'll have to come and get it. Within car lengths on the 31 BW as they work to the back straightway. Will he have anywhere to run into three and four? Bolt drivers working to the bottom. He will not be denied tonight. Braxton Weger getting the job done and restricted. Carson Bolden in second. Garen Howard in third. Landon Adams in fourth. Stone Smith in fifth. Can't